Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and I'm really excited to have you here for another video. Now before we move on to today's content, there's a few housekeeping items that we need to go over. So let's take a look at what some of those are. I have been getting messages from people all over the world about different opportunities. While I'm very excited to get your message about the opportunity, the best way you can get in contact with me is by clicking the link in the description. In the description below, you'll find a link for an opportunity discussion where you can book time on my calendar. When you click that link, it'll take you directly to my calendar. You'll have the most up-to-date information you'll be able to put in your name, email, preferred method of contact, and a little short summary about what opportunity you have. After confirming and submitting, you'll receive a calendar invite where you and I can both talk. And during this time, you can go ahead and tell me all about your opportunity and hopefully it's a good fit. So make sure you click the link in the description and I look forward to speaking with you soon. With all the housekeeping items out of the way, let's get into today's content. So when we think about Linux, one of the key players that's very, very popular in this space, and you really can't ignore this player, is Red Hat. So Red Hat is a software company that actually makes what's called RHEL or Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And it's one of the most popular Linux distributions that is used daily for business critical applications. And you can find it in a bunch of products and services throughout the world. So what makes RHEL or Red Hat Enterprise Linux so special? This Linux distribution really focuses heavily on stability and reliability for your applications. Most users around the world who are looking for a rock solid operating system in order to run their application typically turn to a company like Red Hat in order to use their product, which is Red Hat Enterprise Linux, their application can run with no hiccups and no issues for a very long period of time. When we recently talked about RHEL and what it is, I refer to it as a Linux distribution. So some may be asking, well, what does that term mean? What is a Linux distribution? I like to look at Linux distributions as sort of a flavor of Linux. And I think the best analogy that we can think about is ice cream. Ice cream has a core base product. So when we think about how ice cream is made, you're gonna need milk. After you have the base core product, which in this case, when we refer back to Linux, is the kernel, that's the core component or the core ingredient of an operating system in the Linux world. Then what do you do afterwards? And when we're talking about ice cream again, you can make chocolate flavored, you can make vanilla flavored, right? You can make strawberry flavored. Same thing in the Linux world. You can make different operating systems such as RHEL, which is one of them, Ubuntu, which is another flavor, Kali Linux, another flavor, Rocky Linux, which is another flavor. There's many different flavors of Linux and all of these operating systems have different goals that they want to achieve and they build them in order to achieve those goals. And as a bonus, we're gonna take a look at some of those real quick and we're gonna see what some of those different flavors of Linux are built for. Let's go check that out. Welcome to my desktop where we're gonna take a look at the different Linux distributions that we were just talking about earlier. Linux distributions really are just a flavor of Linux. They all have the same core products or the same ingredients as we use the analogy for ice cream. And in this case, when we talk about Linux and what the core ingredient is, we are specifically talking about the kernel. And then after you have the kernel, there's a whole bunch of packages that go and make up this Linux flavor or Linux distro. And the first one that you see here on the list and the one that I talked about a lot is RHEL or Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Red Hat Enterprise Linux is really an operating system that is designed around stability, right? Dependability and stability. It needs to be rock solid to run these applications. And so as you can see here, here are some of the benefits. They have a subscription benefit, right? So you can actually get support on this Red Hat Enterprise Linux OS, which some of these don't have. So if that's something very important to you in specific, this is something you might want to look at. They also have flexibility on the different architectures. So as you can see here, they support x86, ARM, IBM, IBM Z, and so on and so forth. If automation management is something that's important to you, that's also included in this operating system. There's also installation and migration tools built in. Security and compliance, if you're really big on that and need that for your particular application, this OS has tools built in to help you with that. And if you really, really need that consistent performance, and we talked about this before, we need reliability and dependability, this operating system is a great choice. And this is one particular flavor of Linux. Ubuntu, another great Linux operating system that has been around for quite some time. And it's based off of Debian. Now, as we scroll down here and we take a look at what's inside this operating system, 
you can see that they really start to gear it for engineers, so people who want to develop on it. There's a lot of open source security that's built into it. There's a significant enterprise savings with the offerings that they have inside of here. Also as well, if you're interested in public clouds, they have a lot of optimizations built in. And there's a plethora of tools built into this operating system that make it a great choice for any particular application that you may have. So always make sure that you read what the operating system is built for or the goals it's trying to achieve. Our next Linux distribution or flavor of Linux is Kali Linux. Kali Linux is a Linux distro that is geared towards various information security tasks. So some of the things that we see on here is penetration testing, security research, computer forensics, or even reverse engineering, this operating system is geared specifically towards that. If we scroll down and we take a look at some of the things that are included in this operating system, you can see that you have all the tools that you need in order to get those tasks done. And it even provides some cool features such as having Kali Linux everywhere you go. And you can see here that it's built in into Windows 10. You can run it on your mobile phone. You can have it in many different other locations, which is really, really interesting. And as well, you can see here that you can run it in the cloud. You can do bare metal, you can do ARM. Again, this operating system is very flexible and it's really geared towards information security related tasks. Another Linux distribution or another flavor of Linux is Rocky Linux. And as you can see here, Rocky Linux is an enterprise Linux similar to Red Hat Enterprise Linux or RHEL. The only difference is it's community driven. And so with Rocky Linux, you don't have to pay any of those subscription fees in order to use this. And it's really geared towards being 100% compatible with Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And that is one of the main goal that you can see with this Linux distribution. As a bonus, we'll talk about one final Linux distro, and that is Linux Mint. And as you can see on the screen, Linux Mint is really geared towards a friendly, operating system that is easy to install but more importantly one of the biggest goals that linux mint has is to make sure that everything works out of the box and as we scroll down here and we see what out of the box means you can see here that they really pride themselves on making sure that you don't have to configure anything and you can see that based off of ootb which is you know the little acronym that they have here you don't really have to go installing all these extra applications or hunt for them because it is built into the operating system and that is one of the main features of this distro. There's plenty of other goals that this operating system wants to achieve and all those goals are listed in the website. So head on over and read what those goals are. And if it fits into your application, then Linux Mint is another great operating system. So that'll do it for today's content. Hopefully you enjoyed and more importantly, you learned something. I hope to see you back on the next video.